While on the whole, most of us are law-abiding citizens that don't pose a threat to others in society, there's no avoiding the fact that some people are simply too dangerous to be allowed to enjoy the freedoms that the rest of us do. Countries around the world have struggled with how to contain these criminals, and the preferred solution is usually to build facilities to keep them separated from the rest of society. Let's take a look at the top 15 most secure prisons on Earth. Number 15, La Sante Prison, France. Originally opened in 1867, La Sante Prison is one of the most high-profile jails in France, and this is where famous inmates, as well as the most dangerous ones, are kept for the duration of their sentences. It's one of the three main prisons in Paris, located in the city's Montparnasse district, and in theory has a capacity of up to 2,000 prisoners in 14 different divisions. Based on a hub-and-spoke design in a similar way to various facilities in the U.S., it used to be a place where death penalties were carried out by guillotine or firing squad before the punishment was outlawed for good in 1981. Controversially, up until the year 2000, prison authorities also used to separate inmates based on their geographic origin and ethnicity and housed them in the wings of supposedly like-minded individuals in an effort to make them more manageable. Nowadays, despite being such an old prison, La Sante has undergone substantial renovations in the past few years and is as technologically advanced and secure as any other prison in Europe that handles the most dangerous inmates. Throughout its history, there are only believed to have been five people known to have escaped the ominous stone walls, and of these, one was killed while doing so, and the other four were recaptured soon after. Number 14, King Chen Prison, China. China is renowned for its ruthless prison system, where people can seemingly be locked away in atrocious conditions for relatively minor crimes. But just like every other country, there's a place that used to house those that pose the greatest threats to public safety and to the ruling regime. Known as King Chen Prison, it's located in the Chengping district of Beijing and was originally built in 1957 with the aid of funds from the Soviet Union. It's unusual in the way that rather than being run by the Ministry of Justice, it's the only prison in China that's operated by the Ministry of Public Security. And this has led to it being used to hold high-profile political prisoners, such as those that speak out against the government and even government officials themselves that have been found guilty of corruption. Upon entering the prison, inmates are no longer able to use their names and are instead given a number that relates to the year that they were incarcerated. Interrogations are commonplace. The food they're given is dependent on the seriousness of their crimes and the job they've held before being arrested, and not only are they rarely allowed the chance to exercise, but they're often limited to just one shower per month. Not necessarily because of the risk it poses, but as a means of establishing control over their minds. Even when they're sleeping, prisoners must have their hands above the sheets at all times, and the lights will always be left on to allow guards to regularly check that they aren't misbehaving. Not only is this imprisonment, but it's also designed to re-educate everyone there in line with the 1954 reform through labor regulations, and it's so well guarded that it's believed not a single person has ever escaped. Number 13, Oak Park Heights, Minnesota. Oak Park Heights is the only Level 5 correctional facility in the U.S. state of Minnesota, and as such is responsible for handling not only the most dangerous felons from the surrounding region, but also from the neighboring states too. First opened in 1982, it was built into the side of a hill and has a maximum capacity of 481 inmates. Each is kept in a cell that measures 7 by 10 feet and features a concrete slab as a bed, as well as a table, a toilet, and a sink. Each prisoner spends the vast majority of time isolated in their cell and are monitored 24-7 by one of the most complex camera monitoring systems of any prison in the world. The entire structure has also been designed in a way that offenders can only ever be present in small numbers at any point, even when they're exercising in the baseball field. Whenever prisoners are out of their cells, armed guards patrol the perimeter, which along with motion detectors and vibration detectors in the fences, means they'll know if anyone's trying to escape. It's because of the design of the prison that has constant containment as a priority from the start, along with the use of technology, that means this is not only one of the most secure prisons in the world, but the safest too. Since opening, not a single person has managed to escape, and only one homicide has occurred within the walls, something that's virtually unheard of in the U.S. penal system. Number 12, Camp Delta, Guantanamo Bay. Built in 2002 as a part of a wider development at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, 
Camp Delta has become the most notorious high security facility in the world, responsible for holding and interrogating suspected terrorist prisoners. Split into seven camps, each with varying levels of comfort that acts as a reward for how cooperative an inmate is, there have been regular reports of torture and abuse taking place there, mainly because the legality on the site is somewhat of a gray area, because it's not technically on American soil. This means that people being kept there don't have the same rights that they would elsewhere, to the point where those in the most secure sections are fed minimal rations in order to prevent them from having enough energy to even think about escaping. While most parts of Camp Delta have now been closed, there are a couple camps still in operation, where each inmate is kept in their own cell, with minimal time allowed outside of it for exercise. Because of these strict conditions, no one has ever managed to escape the facility, and while it may well be the most controversial prison in the world, it's certainly proven to be effective at detaining some of the most feared enemy combatants. Number 11. Black Dolphin, Russia Russian prisons are known for their cramped conditions and their poor treatment of inmates, but those who commit the most heinous of crimes are sent to the country's most secure facility of all, which is known as Black Dolphin. Located in Solilevsk, on Russia's border with Kazakhstan, the site has been used for incarcerating prisoners as long ago as 1745. And while it's officially known as Penal Colony No. 6, it gets its nickname from a prisoner-built statue near the entrance. With a prison population of around 700 inmates, only the most dangerous criminals are sent there, such as those who have been convicted of offenses like murder, terrorism, and cannibalism. Each inmate is kept isolated in their own cell and are allowed just 90 minutes each day to exercise in a large cage. During this time, their cells are meticulously searched for contraband, and any time a prisoner is being moved around the prison, they're forced to wear a blindfold to prevent them from being able to map out the corridors to help form an escape plan. From the year 2000, when the prison first started accepting prisoners with life sentences, it became the place that no one wants to be sent. Criminals know that once you enter the gates of Black Dolphin, you'll never again see the outside world. And with extensive security perimeters that in some places are further protected with landmines, and one of the highest prisoner to armed guard ratios of any prison on Earth, there's unsurprisingly never been a successful escape. Number 10. HMP Belmarsh, UK since opening in April of 1991, HMP Belmarsh has become one of the most notorious prisons in the UK. Designated as a Category A prison, it accommodates inmates of all types from the local area around London, but also the most serious offenders from elsewhere in the country. It's there, for example, that most terrorist suspects are held, along with others that are deemed to put national security at a risk. The reason Belmarsh has taken on this role is firstly that it's located directly next to Woolwich Crown Court, so prisoners don't have to be transported very far to trial, but also because it's one of the most secure facilities in Europe. While it doesn't have a heavily guarded perimeter like other prisons, it's the arrangement of Belmarsh that makes it almost impossible to escape from. Inmates are held across four different residential units, with 40% of the cells being designed for single occupancy, and technology is used, particularly with the most serious offenders, to monitor every move they make. There are at least 15 remote operated doors between each cell and the outside, and this has meant that since it opened, not a single person has ever escaped. With an average prison population of 910, guards at Belmarsh have historically been given a surprising amount of leeway in how they keep control. Investigations have found they are known to use extremely high levels of force, and that an unusual proportion of prisoners reported being intimidated or victimized by the staff. Number 9. Terre Haute, Indiana Terre Haute is a federal correctional complex near the city of Terre Haute in Indiana, and is made up of two facilities, one of which is a maximum security federal prison. It's where the federal execution chamber has been since 1993 so as a special confinement unit for inmates who were on death row, and the reason why it was chosen it was that it was such a secure but accessible facility. Originally built in 1940 but substantially upgraded in 2005, there's the capacity for around 1,480 prisoners, of which 46 are currently on death row and kept completely separate from the rest of the population. Some of the country's most violent offenders are kept there, but rather than solely being a means for punishment, Terre Haute has been purposefully designed to emphasize rehabilitation programs for those that aren't serving life sentences. Regular therapy sessions along with educational opportunities to help inmates learn how to read, write, and learn the skills needed for various professions, along with policies such as allowing them to speak during mealtimes instead of being in silence, 
and referring to prisoners by their names instead of numbers are all intended to prevent reoffending, and this policy has proven to be surprisingly effective. There have, of course, been a number of escape attempts, and while the old perimeter of Terre Haute was on occasion breached, inmates have yet to find a way around the new security measures that were installed in 2005. Number 8. Fuchu Prison, Japan Located in the city of Fuchu, which is part of the Tokyo metropolis in Japan, Fuchu Prison is the country's largest prison, with around 2,000 prisoners at any time. It originally opened in 1935, replacing Tokyo's main prison that had been destroyed in an earthquake a decade earlier, and was to begin with the place where Japanese authorities held political prisoners. During the Second World War, all high-profile inmates were kept in Fuchu, both because of how secure it was and to keep them close to the seat of power, and in recent years it's become the place where high-profile and violent criminals are held, as well as virtually every foreign prisoner within the Japanese penal system. Split into four sections, one of which is solely dedicated to international inmates, it's surrounded by a 1.1-mile-long perimeter wall that's at least 18 feet tall throughout. By the 1980s, the prison facilities were becoming inadequate to contain all of the prisoners, and amidst the number of escape attempts, the decision was made to embark upon a 10-year project during which virtually every system and security measure on the site was upgraded. Following the completion of this work, not a single person has been able to escape, mainly thanks to most of the doors now being operated from a central command room, and purpose-built platforms and vantage points that allow armed guards a full view over any potential weak spots. Number 7. New Foscherfeld, Netherlands New Foscherfeld is the most secure facility in the Netherlands, and while most prisons have a checkered past at best, this one has a particularly tragic background. It was built in 1943 by the Nazis who occupied the country at the time and was used as a concentration camp for as many as 31,000 prisoners, none of whom had broken any actual laws and were instead being held simply for who they were. By the time the Allies liberated it 20 months later, almost a thousand people had died, 329 of them having been executed, and the rest succumbing to the horrendous conditions they were kept in. Following the war, the camp became a detention center for Germans and other people accused of assisting the Nazis during their campaign. And for a number of years, they too were subjected to atrocious conditions and summary executions. It was in 1953 with the construction of a juvenile camp that Neufossefeld became a prison more in line with what you'd expect. And by the 1970s, an adult wing had also been added. Now home to the country's high security prison unit, as well as a terrorist holding facility, is now a capacity of about 750 prisoners, many of which are kept in isolated cells and have very little time outside of those four walls. Number 6. Portlaoise Prison, Ireland First opening in the 1830s, Portlaoise Prison has for a long time been the most secure prison in Ireland and responsible for holding the country's most notorious criminals. It has for more than 80 years been the place where those designated as terrorists are sent. And because of the high-profile nature of some of the inmates, there have been a number of escape attempts, some of which have been successful. None of these breakouts has happened in recent decades, however, because significant steps have been taken to upgrade the security, such as a perimeter full of thick and tall walls, huge numbers of security cameras and motion sensors, and a permanent Irish military battalion that patrols the grounds 24 hours a day and are armed with rifles and anti-aircraft weapons. With an air exclusion zone above the prison, soldiers are permitted to engage anything that enters the airspace, which not only reduces the potential means of escape, but also severely limits any contraband from entering. Unusually, despite being built with a maximum capacity of 400 inmates, numbers rarely get anywhere near that high, so more attention can be diverted to securely keeping the prisoners they do have. Usually, there are no more than around 120 prisoners, and this extra focus means that the only way to ever leave the prison is when the judge says so. Number 5. Arthur Road Jail, India At first, you might not expect Arthur Road Jail, which is in southern Mumbai in India, to be the most secure of places thanks to it being in the middle of one of the world's most populated cities, but it's surprisingly effective at keeping its inmates within the perimeter walls. First opened in 1926, it's both the largest and oldest prison in the city, with an official capacity of 1,074 inmates. Normally, though, there's more than double this number of people being kept there because of the lack of prison facilities in the country compared to the number of people the courts decide to lock up. 
This puts extreme pressure on the facilities, making it notoriously crowded and filthy place, where disease often spreads like wildfire. The prison has been upgraded a number of times since it first opened, and the full details of how it's kept so secure are closely guarded secrets. The final hurdle, though, is a 22-foot-tall perimeter wall, and even though some inmates have managed to make it that far in an escape attempt, they've all suffered such extreme injuries after falling over the other side that they've all immediately been recaptured. Number 4. Millhaven, Canada Often referred to as the Guantanamo of the North, Millhaven is the most heavily fortified maximum security prison in Canada. Having opened in Ontario in 1971 to replace a nearby facility, it now has a capacity of around 500 inmates, all of whom are the most dangerous offenders within the Canadian prison system. There are three main living units within Millhaven, where inmates are kept two to a cell, and any hope they have of escaping is virtually non-existent. The entire perimeter of the prison is surrounded by a 30-foot-tall fence with observation towers at each corner, and further within this, the grounds has a much smaller 4-foot-tall fence. This one certainly won't stop anyone from crossing, but it represents the lethal force boundary, beyond which anything that moves is likely to be shot on sight. To ensure they spot anyone making a run for it, there are countless motion sensors and security cameras, along with guards equipped with Colt Canada C7 rifles and parabolic microphones. The security is so tight there that any visitors are rigorously searched and scanned before they get within the prison buildings. Even when they do, they're only allowed to meet with inmates behind glass screens. Number 3. Tadmore Military Prison, Syria Tadmore Military Prison in Syria became renowned for being one of the most dangerous prison facilities in the world, where abuse and torture was an everyday occurrence. First constructed at some point in the 1920s, it gained notoriety around the world in the 1980s following a government-sanctioned massacre where a thousand prisoners were murdered. Since then, it was used for political, high-profile, and violent prisoners, and the treatment inside was so harsh along with extreme measures to prevent escape that it's thought that no one was able to find their way out past the perimeter. By 2001, Tadmor was closed, with all prisoners moved to newer and more humane facilities. But following the influx of terrorist organizations, it was reopened in 2011 and filled with anti-government protesters. Eventually, it was overrun by IS in 2015, who used it for torture and imprisonment of their own victims for a while before they detonated explosives across the site and destroyed it for good. Or at least that's what they thought. There were apparently plans to rebuild a facility on site and reopen it as a new high security prison with the site purposefully being used because of its controversial history. Number 2. Polesmore Prison, South Africa Polesmore Maximum Security Prison in the suburb of Tokai in Cape Town is responsible for holding some of the most dangerous and violent criminals from across South Africa. First opened in 1964, it's been continually expanded and now features five different prisons on that site. One of these is the most secure female prisons of the world and another is the wing where men with life sentences are kept. And despite having a rated capacity of 4,336 inmates, the true number is closer to double that. Because security staff aren't present all throughout the day, gang activity runs rife at Pulsemore, so much so that there's one floor, which is split into three sections, and specifically for members of the three main gangs. Inside the walls, prisoners can pretty much do whatever they want, except for leave. The entire perimeter is fortified in a similar way to a war zone, and anyone trying to escape is killed on sight, a fact that's more than effective in preventing attempts in the first place. Number 1. ADX Florence, Colorado ADX Florence, after opening in 1994, became the highest security prison in the U.S. and is classified as a supermax, which is the step above maximum security. It was commissioned to specifically hold inmates who posed a serious threat of violence or harm to staff or other inmates and, as such, take extreme precautions with everything that prisoners are allowed to do. With a population of around 350 inmates, each one is held in single cells that are made from poured concrete to prevent them from self-harming. They're kept in their cells for 23 hours of the day, where they're continually monitored by security cameras and frequent checks by guards. All 1,400 steel-reinforced doors at the site are remote-operated, so can't be broken through by anyone trying to escape. And the one hour that inmates are allowed outside of their cells each day is spent in a concrete pit, 
which looks like an empty swimming pool, which they slowly walk around. All windows in the facility are tiny, which prevents inmates from being able to plot a map of their surroundings for a potential escape attempt. And so far, all of these precautions have been successful because no one has managed to break free. That's particularly impressive considering the most dangerous terrorists, serial killers, and gang members are held there, including El Chapo, who has managed to escape countless prisons before, but has found ADX Florence too hard to overcome, at least for the time being. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.